What's up guys, it's Mackie Ninja here today and we got another Great Path of Exile build for you. So I attempted to recreate the Flame Hashra Rengoku from Demon Slayer. The primary skill I chose to best mimic this was Lacerate, and the main focus of this build is to bleed and burn our enemies. And if you guys can hit that subscribe button and help me push this video to get a thousand likes, it would greatly help out this channel. Now this build is a league starter. It's great at mapping, it's great at bossing, and what makes it a league starter is that most of the gems can be attained in Act 1 and Act 2. Now there are two key components that are located both on your skill tree. The first is the Crimson Dance node, which reduces your bleeding damage by 50%. However, your bleeding is now able to be stacked up to 8 times on enemies, meaning that as long as you keep more than 2 stacks on an enemy, you will only have the potential to deal more damage to them. And the second key component to this build is also on your skill tree, and this is getting the Fire Mastery node that critical strikes do not inherently ignite your enemies, but they deal 100% increased damage with hits against ignited enemies. Now, this is my projected skill tree for level 90. When leveling, the first goal that I would shoot for is to pick up the Fire Mastery on the right hand side of the Duelist tree, getting that critical strikes do not inherently ignite first. Now also keep in mind that when leveling you want to also pick up nodes that give you increased damage with two handed weapons. Now the next major node I would suggest working on when leveling up is getting that Crimson Dance where it allows you to stack bleeding effects on enemies. Once you have gotten Crimson Dance, then it becomes about focusing on skill nodes that give you increased damage with two-handed weapons and continuously focusing on getting nodes that increase your fire damage and bleed damage. And the Ascendancy class that you want to pick is the Slayer. Now the nodes that we want to pick up are ones that increase our attack damage and our area of effect. And then lastly, you also want to pick up the ones that kill your enemies at 20% or lower life ones that give you increased attack speed. And then finally, I chose the final two as uh, ones that increase your attack damage as well as attack damage leached his life, ending with Brutal Fever. When it comes to skill gems, our primary ability will be last rate, but we're gonna support it with added fire damage support, pulverized support, close combat support, and ruthless support. Now, added fire damage is self-explanatory but pulverize allows us to have increased area of effect with a little bit of a penalty to our attack speed however close combat support helps offset that and then ruthless support gives us more melee damage now to make our last rate ability look like we're throwing fire slashes at our enemies you want to make sure that you have the blood and sand gem and make sure that you're using the sand stance now for your left click or your movement skill, you want to have Molten Shell. Now that's why we wanted to make sure that our evasion gear had substats with armor on it because that's going to help this skill pump out more damage and keep us alive. Now to really give our character that Flame Hashra vibe, we want to make sure you have two skill gems, one being the Flame Dash ability and the Herald of Ash. Now when it comes to gearing, we're primarily focusing on evasion gear. Now we're looking for substats that offer us increased armor, obviously maximum life, and ones that also increase our fire damage output as well as physical damage output, and have increased attack speed. And this build for me is still a work in progress, however it has been very efficient as far as mapping and moving through content in the game, since it has a lot of the same mechanics as the last rate build, except you're combining a burning component to it as well.
All right, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe so you don't miss out on my future Path of Exile content. Until next time.